before you move your tread out, it's important to know what you want your tread width to be. The holes in the rail for your stop blocks go in increments of two inches, so every, every hole will let your tread go in or out a total of two inches per side. The first step is to remove your stop block. Once your stop block is removed, loosening them, you always want to start at the topmost eccentric and work your way down. There's a reason to this method. Go ahead and do this on both sides. put the stop block back in the rail. Now it's time to tighten up the eccentrics and you want to start from the bottom and work your way up. The reason for this is when you start at the bottom you're basically lifting the weight of the tractor on the rim. As you go up and around you start to put pressure against the rim so you don't want to or to make it easier on yourself, do the bottom one first. If you do it last, you not only have the, the uh, pressure of the rim that you're pinching, but also you're lifting the tractor. So on tightening, do the bottom one first. And it's important to turn them all the way around until they stop. Because they do have a self-locking feature. If you don't rotate them all the way around to the stop, you risk the possibility of it coming loose as you're working the tractor. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> 